Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Griffin GFX back with another video, a video that I'm really excited to make. There's finally an AI tool for graphic designers, one that can actually create text without making an awful mess of it, one that allows you to then change the AI afterwards with a bunch of different visual elements that tie into the text. You can type absolutely any brief into this input. Here guys, I'll give you a quick preview of what I'm talking about. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, make it overdose. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, 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 more. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, make it overdose. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, 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 more. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, make it overdose. Damn, look at that, they broke the mold. Give me some more, 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 more. What? Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new project. I'm gonna make it 3000 by 3000 and I'm gonna create. This will give you a new canvas. Doesn't really matter what size it is because it's gonna be vector. In this top right bit of this side panel, you can see there's a new logo generator which is AI for graphic designers and it will give you a little prompt to help you understand what kind of thing you should put in. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna type in a unique gaming logo for my brand Dragon. I'm gonna see what it can create for us. It's gonna find text and Dragon logos. It's gonna create it all for us and it's gonna put it together. And everything it makes is then gonna be editable. Editable. So on this first one, it's mostly just giving us Dragon text, but I really like this one that it's given us here. This text is sick. So I'm gonna take everything else off it and I'm just gonna keep the Dragon text. I'm then going to save this project so that I have the text separate. Now I'm going to try again and hopefully get a dragon image so that I can put the two together and make a cool logo. So I'm going to do the same thing, open up a new canvas in the same size. And this time I'm going to type in a dragon logo for a gaming company. And I'm hoping we can get some AI images of dragons so that I can put the text that I got before with this and make a cool logo. You might find you need to keep tweaking the text a little bit and generating more logos until you get one that's perfect for you. This feature is so crazy. Sometimes it goes minimalistic and sometimes it goes really detailed. But every single asset and design element it uses is completely customizable. That's the crazy thing about this. You can see here it's made this Y2K logo in like five seconds that's insane and in the other ones we actually have some vector dragon symbols now here is giving us a crazy dragon that's so sick i think that might be what i use that one's cool too but yeah i'm thinking we use this one in the bottom left corner now i'm gonna attempt to copy this and merge it with the text we had from the previous canvas i'm gonna change the name of this to dragon logo and i'm gonna save this canvas so now we have our two canvases one with the text and one with the logo that we want so you can click directly on the elements that you want and copy it and you can paste it into the other canvas to bring them both together so my basic idea is gonna be to make the dragon and the dragon text both align with the same aesthetic and style but first I'm just going to experiment and remind myself all the different layer effects that Kittle can offer. You can change the colour of everything and there's a tool picker and then you can add strokes and different layer dimensions like giving the text some three dimensional depth or a drop shadow. Even though everything is an SVG it's also fully customizable, which is why I love using Kittle so much. You can see I've got this bubbly three dimensional kind of drop down effect on the text that for some reason is kind of bleeding. I don't know how I did that, but it's kind of cool. But I don't think I'm going to go with that. I like the idea of having the dragon the same color as the background, just with a drop shadow to kind of define it. So I'm going to play until I get that perfect and then I'm going to apply that to the text as well. There's loads of different arch tools and templates you can use, but you can also customize it all yourself. Right, now to make the text look the same as the dragon for continuity. I think something like that is pretty sick. 
Remember before you mock up or export your images in SVG, you can remove the background by doing this. Damn. I actually think this is pretty drippington. Leave a comment down below saying hippo, I might ship you this t-shirt. No cap. I'm not going to spend much time in the kit or mockups because I've already made an entire video playing with that feature and printing stuff out. Alright, I'm gonna give it another spin. This time I'm gonna try and make a fish logo, but in an esports style. So maybe like a Y2K thing. I don't know, we'll see what we get. Didn't like the first one, so I'm gonna spin again. Oh, that's a crazy fish. You gotta think, the fact AI has just given us this, that's a madness. I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna put that in my fish folder. If you don't have a fish folder, you a fake designer, let's be real. I'm gonna generate again, this time I'm typing logo of a fish. Damn, it's given us this Y2K logo, that is insane. I'm gonna change the text of it. Boom, AI Y2K logo. So I'm gonna select the text and change it to fish gods. I'm gonna move some of these assets around and I'm gonna search for a fish in the elements just to get a more simple clip art style fish to suit this Y2K theme. Once you've found one that you like, you can drag and drop the asset so easily. I'm gonna use the tool picker to match the color to the background. I'm gonna add a stroke and make sure the stroke is the same size as the text. Once I've got it in the location I want, I can duplicate it whilst moving the arrow keys to give it that three dimensional Y2K aesthetic. And then I'm just gonna use a circle to replace the fish's eye cause I seem to have glitched that out. And that right there was me using AI to make a Y2K fish logo in a record breaking time guys. This kittle feature is really gonna change things for designers. It might not give you your final outcome, but it's definitely gonna help you with inspiration and coming up with concepts for your own business or for clients projects that you might be working on and when you're done with the logo remember you can click on the background turn the opacity to zero percent and then you can save it as an SVG right to your desktop and it can even optimize the quality if you want to change the colorway of everything in one go you have a little color palette section down in the bottom right which I find incredibly useful and this is only the beta guys this is gonna get better as they keep working on it down in the description is a link for you guys to join the waitlist to be amongst the first people to beta test this out and as I said before you have until the end of this year to use unlimited AI credits up until the 30 1st of December you can use this feature as much as you like 100% free after that I think you are gonna have to pay for the AI credits you use just like how it is with most artificial intelligence services on the internet at the moment but I still think this is gonna be a great tool to have as a designer to help you come up with concepts really fast and all of the assets it gives you are completely free for commercial use as long as you're signed up to Kittle so yeah that's it man what a sick feature Shout out to Kittle and a little surprise for anyone who's made it this far into the video. You can enjoy a 50% off discount on the Kittle Pro or Expert account if you upgrade to an annual plan, which is a pretty huge saving and gives you access to loads more features within Kittle. They keep making big moves. So if you're interested in that, the code will be down in the description. If you guys have enjoyed watching, make sure you smash that like button. And until the next video, stay blessed. Grr, 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 grr.